Hello everyone and a very good morning to all of you. In this session today, we'll show you how you can make an ad blocker not only for yourself but your entire local network. So for all of you ad block users out there that want to extend your ad free bliss to the rest of the inhabitants of your home, you may or may not have heard of Pihole. Now Pihole is a free and open source software which operates at the DNS level to block unwanted internet advertising for the whole local network. In this session, we are going to run this software on Raspberry Pi to create a small and low power device to add to a network and provide ad blocking without requiring client side extensions or plugins. <coughs> so let's begin by briefly describing what the assembly is. So the assembly is basically a smart lab which is based in M5 and over the course of over six years, we have successfully delivered over 250 free workshops. Now these workshops are categorized into three categories, code, hack, and data science. So workshops which deal with softwares or codings using APIs or gaming, etc., come under the category of code. Workshops like today's workshop, which focus on hardware, IoT, etc., come under the category of hack. Lastly, all AI and machine learning workshops come under data science category. Now, our target audience is student, per professionals, and entrepreneurs. But anyone who is interested is more than welcome to join us. You can know more about us on our forum, which is members.theassembly.ae. So, don't forget to connect with us on our social media. Connect to us on Facebook and YouTube at The Assembly and connect to us on YouTube, uh, Twitter and Instagram by using our handle which is at MakeSmartThings. Now, how does Pihole work? Okay, so, in simple terms, a DNS server is an internet address registry that helps locate the server using with the domain name. When you visit any site, a query is made to the DNS server to locate the IP address of the server to connect to. So Pihole puts itself between your device and an upstream DNS server and blocks out any request to known ad and tracking servers. Pihole can accept DNS queries but it relies on upstream server for resolving the queries. Now, there are several advantages of using Pihole. First of all, it is free. All you need to run the Pihole is a device, Raspberry Pi, Linux, or a Docker. And it doesn't require any client-side ad blocking software, which is also an advantage. And there are several other advantages. As you can see on the screen, it blocks ads on any device, including smart TVs, etc., if you put it or configure it along with your router and it reduces the bandwidth and improves overall network performance. It also provides an awesome dashboard which you can use to view various stats regarding how much of ads or what sites are being blocked, etc, etc. Now, let's come to the requirements. So, as for the requirements, we require a basic Raspberry Pi setup with HDMI cable, external monitor and SD card. What we require additionally is a software known as Pihole. So, we will install the normal Raspbian OS on our Raspberry Pi and we will boot it up, we will start it and once we are done with that, we will uh, load, load a software called Pihole into our Raspberry Pi. So, let us get blocking. Okay, so let us get started. So, now with that, what I have done is I have installed the Raspbian OS into my SD card and then plugged in the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and started up the SD, SD Raspberry Pi. And one thing that you need to make sure is that you have the Wi Fi connected. So, in this case, I have the Wi Fi already connected. So, just make sure you have your Wi Fi connected because we will need Wi Fi to download in the Pi Hole software. And as I said earlier, Pihole, it sets up the DNS server, handles all the DNS requests and filters them. It also pro, it will also provide us a fancy web front end, allowing us to see the statistics in real time 
and make changes to the pie hole configuration including white listing or black listing URLs. So and this is something the pie hole web server is something that is automatically installed so you do not need to do any extra installation. So another advantage is of utilizing pie hole is that it has an easy to use installer meaning that we do not have to mess around with trying to install and configure several different packages we just have to run a single command to download and install the script. So let us just go ahead and install pyhole. So we will type in curl space dash s s l space https colon forward slash install dot pi dash hole dot net space pipe space bash enter and this command will download and run the script that begins the process of setting up the raspberry pi for pi hole a few of the tasks that this command does is verify the amount of available free disk and update the package list and some other things we will just wait for this command to finish it is updating local cache of available packages. So like I said before you need to have Wi-Fi connection for this and there are several ways you can uh, set up your Wi-Fi. So you can if you are using a headless Raspberry Pi means meaning that you do not have a monitor yet you can use you can uh, connect to Wi-Fi by adding in a file in the SD card or you can also connect to your Raspberry Pi from SSH and do that or you can just go here in the GUI and then click from here and then add to your Wi-Fi. Okay, I do not want to disconnect, just cancel this. Okay, so now our pie hole installation has been done. We click on OK. So it will say that we need a static IP address to function properly. OK. We'll just hit OK. And from here we'll choose an interface. So this interface depends on what type of network connection that are are you using so if you're using a wired connection or if using ethernet you will choose h0 or otherwise you'll use wlan0 and then the next thing is select the upstream dns servers so i'll just go ahead and use google and click enter and then okay just to de deselect any list use arrow keys and space bars you can just click ok and that is it and now select protocols IPv4 IPv6 and now it says do you want to use your current network settings as static IP address so I will just hit enter and make sure you remember this IP address because this is the one that you will require when you are setting up this uh, you will have to set your Raspberry Pi's IP address as your default DNS server so you need to remember this IP address so make sure you keep this in mind and we will just go ahead and click enter okay it is possible your router could still try to assign this IP to the device okay okay just we'll just click enter and it's fine and we'll just wait for it okay so now it's asking us if we want to install the web admin interface so it is recommended that you install this because it will allow us to you know kind of like visualize the statistics and change the configurations if you want. So we will just go on with yes 
and if you do you wish to install the web server yes do you want to log queries uh, I mean it's fine you can just click yes uh, show everything and we'll just wait for it to finish execution so it's almost done so now what we'll do is once it's all set up and done we'll attack either we have two ways of doing it so one way is that we can add it I mean we can change the DNS server of our router itself so that the entire all the devices that connect to our router won't get any ads however if you are unable to do so or if you don't if you can't access your router for some reason then you have the option of adding this changing the DNS settings for every single device it's a it's a painful work but I mean if you can't find the router then this is the only way so what you can do is uh, for instance if you are using a mobile or your laptop then you will need to go to them uh, go to their DNS settings and change them to use the new DNS which will be their IP address of your Raspberry Pi I'll show you how to do that as well in a bit I'll show you both the methods uh, using the router and the individual for the individual devices as well you can use whichever method you prefer and yep so we'll just wait for this to finish up and if you have any queries or any doubts regarding this feel free to ask me in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to help you guys out so it takes some time to load because it is creating all the files and everything so it will take some time but then the advantage of this network ad blocker would be like normally when we have an ad blocker we install it on separate devices I mean if even if we don't install the extension if then we need to install the ad blocker on every single device with this we have the ability to block ads on an entire network without having to go and do setup or install ad blockers on each and every device okay it's yep yeah, I think it's almost done installing FTL done installing scripts also done yes we are almost done because it's, it's saying restarting pi hole and once we are set once we've set up everything we I'll also show you how this thing works I mean I'll show you that it really actually works by blocking ads so yeah we'll do that towards the end of the video as well so yes here we go it says it's done and you configure your devices so the IP address that it's showing uh, 192.168.1.5 I'm sure it will be different for each and every one of you or it might be same but most probably it will it will be different and unique for uh, it will be different so what you need to now two things there are two things that you need to note one is the IPv4 address and the second one is your admin password so you need to write this password somewhere so that you remember it because this password will enable you to log in into the web page when we are using the uh, web page for the pie hole to see the statistics and everything so and this IP address you will be using as your new DNS server so yep that's it so we'll just click on enter okay so now that we have set up our Raspberry Pi with pie hole we need to uh, set up configure our router to use 
our Raspberry Pi has its default DNS server. So we'll go to 192.168.1.1 and this is the your router's login page. So and before that you will be prompted by a login screen. So I'll just go ahead and show you guys that one. So yeah, you will be prompted on a screen like this. So use whatever credentials that they have given that your ISP has provided you. If they haven't told you anything, the most probably the default credentials are admin admin so admin as username and admin as password all small case How, but if you have any other credentials you use them and we'll log in okay I made a typo okay so here we are now keep in mind that this page will be different for every different router so you need to search for setting which is DNS so I by default it was selected to be enabled DNS proxy so I just untick that and chose to assign it a manual uh, DNS so I gave it this address and this address as you might remember is the address of my Raspberry Pi so I want to forward any DNS request to my Raspberry Pi which will then uh, block ads and forward it to the respective other DNS so you have to give this over here and then you have to click apply and that's it another thing that is of interest is you need to go to if you want to go to the ad uh, web page of your pie hole so you just need to type in the IP address so you say 192.168. 1.5 the IP address of your pie hole or raspberry pi slash admin now this will give this will bring up a dashboard to you the pie hole dashboard now if you want to log in to access more features like white listing or black listing websites you need to use the password that was given to you by pie hole when you were installing it now I already have the password saved so I'll just log in yeah so as you can see I have got a way more options than before I have I have I am able to blacklist whitelist websites and I am able to create groups and manage networks and a lot of things but even if you don't log if you are unable to log in or if you don't log in you can still see the general statistics how many queries or ads have been blocked on your network now this number is increasing because I'm not the only one using my network so other people who are using my network whenever they load up a page or they access a website any ad that comes on that page will get blocked so let's uh, okay before testing it let me show you the other way of uh, if you let's say if you don't have access to your routers page for some reason or you don't can't find or you can't find the settings or anything and you want to uh, do ad blocking to individual devices you can do that by going to your control panel now even this is specific for windows versions and uh, things like that but i'll just show you if you have windows 10 you can use that so head on to network and internet so basically what we are trying to do here is trying to change our dns server uh, before what we did was we were trying to change the dns server on a router level but if you don't have access to that you can use you can change the DNS server for your own computer so you will be using uh, a different uh, your pie hole as your DNS server so go to network and sharing center and from there go to change network adapter settings now choose whatever Wi-Fi you have so right click on that and head on to properties and in properties find internet protocol version 4 bracket TCP IP and over here go to advanced settings or and go to DNS okay never mind that you can do that directly by using uh, obtain DNS you see this option which says obtain DNS server address automatically you can change this and type in use the following uh, DNS server so you can give here the IP address of your Raspberry Pi so I'm not gonna do this because I've already 
done it on my router so I don't need to do this it's useless but in case if you do this just click on ok and it will be fine so let me just show you how this works so let's try and go to cnn.com and might as well just keep this open side by side as just to know how many are getting ads are getting blocked so so as you can see we didn't have any ads on this page cnn.com let's try something else let's go to fox.com now did you notice a change over here it went from 365 all the way to 375 so it most likely blocked six ads on this page itself and there are no other props I mean this uh, pie hole it's not flawless but at least it reduces the number of ads so that you see minimal ads so it kind of improves your browsing experience and it avoids those ads so that's it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can also learn how they can make their own ad blocker and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos until next time stay tuned bye bye